What is acting? Is it all psychological? Getting into the head of a character, thinking their thoughts, feeling their feelings. Yes, but what about other, more surface-level elements? Costumes, makeup. What about getting, to use a technical term, hella shredded? In this video, we're gonna celebrate 15 actors who got totally ripped for certain roles. Are they uber professionals or misguided lunatics? Or maybe both? Sun's out, guns out. Christian Bale is kind of the modern poster boy for actors going through wild physical changes. His first major metamorphosis was for American Psycho in 2000 to play murderous yuppie Patrick Bateman, a man obsessed with his own physical perfection. Pat Bateman, nice to meet you. Bale bulked up considerably, working on his abs and upper arms with a restrictive all-protein diet and workout regimen. He even had dental work done, and that was only the beginning. Bale would go on to lose an astonishing 60 pounds for The Machinist in 2004, which only left him six months to gain 100 back for Batman Begins. We could fill a whole list just with Bale's crazy weight gains and losses, but suffice it to say, the guy commits. We could also easily fill a list with actors who've got ripped specifically for superhero movies, but for the most recent internet-breaking example, let's take a look at Kumail Nanjani. We're used to seeing Nanjani in comedies and small-scale dramas, not generally the kind of roles where actors need to look like Greek gods. But for Marvel's upcoming Eternals, in which he's going to be playing Kingo, this physically unassuming actor took the plunge. He was 150 pounds before he reached out to celebrity trainer Grant Roberts. After 10 months of five intense workouts a week and a strict low-carb diet, he was 175 with pronounced abs, chest, deltoids, the whole package. Long way from Silicon Valley. Intense physical transformations are more common in Hollywood nowadays than they once were, but they're definitely not a modern phenomenon. One of the most famous examples is Robert De Niro's Oscar-winning performance as boxer Jake LaMotta for Martin Scorsese's 1980 powerhouse, Raging Bull. To prepare for the intense role, De Niro spent almost a year training with the real-life boxer he was playing in the movie, boxing a thousand rounds. He got so good that LaMotta arranged three professional fights for De Niro, and he won two of them. He gained 20 pounds of muscle to play the boxer in his prime, and then another 60 to portray him during his decline. Now that's what we call a contender. My Marlon Brando is not good. There was a time, stay with me here, when nobody took Keanu Reeves seriously. The guy is now rightfully held up as one of cinema's greatest ever action stars, but that wasn't always the case. His first action role was FBI agent Johnny Utah in 1991's Point Break. Before that, he was most famous as a sweetly dim wannabe rock star in the Bill and Ted movies, where there wasn't much meat on him. He got pretty lean for Point Break, learning how to surf and fight, but it was speed in 1993 when we first saw a really notable physical transformation. To play LAPD maverick Jack Traven, he bulked up his biceps and did a bunch of his own stunts, including the infamous jump from the Jaguar to the bus. And even pushing 60, we still wouldn't want to mess with Baba Yaga. Back in the early 90s, Mark Wahlberg, or Marky Mark as he was known, was pretty darn buff, appearing in iconic shoots for brands like Calvin Klein, and his physique has served him well in the likes of Boogie Nights and The Fighter. But for our money, his most striking physical transformation was for the appropriately titled Pain and Gain in 2013. In order to play a deranged bodybuilder, Wahlberg gained 40 pounds in just two months. He achieved this astonishing result through intense fitness training, weightlifting, and as many as 12 meals a day. Wahlberg even said he would sometimes eat dinner, go to bed at 9 p.m., then get up at midnight to eat again. <laughs> you do you, man. You do you. When the first trailers and images from Guardians of the Galaxy started to appear, those of us who knew Chris Pratt from his role as schlubby doofus Andy in Parks and Rec were <laughs> pretty shook. Man, look at those pecs. But Pratt had actually already gone through an impressive physical transformation for Catherine Bigelow's Zero Dark Thirty in 2012. After all, Navy SEALs don't look like they spend all their time on the couch eating cheese Whiz. Of course, for the Guardians movies, Pratt has the best personal trainers Hollywood can provide. No offense, no offense. I don't. But for Zero Dark Thirty, he followed his own regimen. 500 push-ups a day, running and weightlifting, but with very little food to back it up. He ended up having to get surgery. So while the results certainly show up on screen, definitely don't try that one at home, kids. We're not saying actors have to go through crazy physical changes to win Oscars, but it definitely helps. Hilary Swank won her second Best Actress Oscar for 2004's Million Dollar Baby, in which she played an amateur boxer who wants to go pro. To get into shape, Swank entered a grueling three-month fitness routine, lifting weights and boxing for between four and six hours every single day. She also followed a strict meal plan which involved so much protein that she had to eat every 90 minutes. And yes, that also involved drinking protein shakes in the middle of the night. Man, we're exhausted just thinking about it. If we're rating actors based on pure fanatical commitment to staying in shape, 
Hugh Jackman has to be near the top. It was the year 2000 when he first played mutant maniac Wolverine in X-Men, and his final appearance was in 2017's Logan. That's a long time, and while of course he didn't maintain this level of raw muscle for 17 straight years, he has returned to Wolverine fitness for 10 different movies, including brief cameos. That's a lot of work. Jackman has used various trainers and plans throughout his career as Weapon X, but the constants have been weight training and strict dieting, including carb cycling where the actor would load up on carbs on weightlifting days and then cut them out on every other day. And some days he would fast. Then there's the freezing cold showers and sets of 100 push-ups. Like we said, pure commitment. There seems to be something about boxing movies that means actors need to get in shape. Boxing must be a pretty tough sport. We wouldn't know. We rarely left the house, even before the pandemic. Anywho, let's talk about Michael B. Jordan. For 2015's Rocky soft reboot and sequel Creed, and its 2018 sequel Creed 2, he was literally playing a guy named Adonis. Some pressure there to get Greek god status, and Jordan went all out. Let me make you an offer that you can't refuse. <laughs> Cardio, circuit training, weightlifting, boxing, he did it all. Oh, plus up to six meals a day. Chicken, rice, broccoli, egg whites, grains, protein shakes, all that good stuff. Eye of the Tiger, indeed. Tom Cruise may have had the showier role in 2015's Edge of Tomorrow. I just inspired millions of people. But Emily Blunt made a hell of an impression, too. In order to get the ripped physique of legendary soldier Rita Protaski, and to be able to convincingly wear those heavy-ass exoskeletons, Blunt trained for two and a half hours a day, six days a week for two and a half months. She did everything from weight training to sprinting to Krav Maga, and cut out saturated fats, processed foods, refined sugars, and foods high in sodium. She even restricted herself to a single cup of coffee per day. Now that's dedication. Viewers who first encountered Tom Hardy as Bane in The Dark Knight Rises might have assumed he was always a big guy. You're a big guy. For you. But for his first high profile role in 2002's Star Trek Nemesis, he looked a bit more like this. It was 2008's gritty biopic, Bronson, where Hardy first properly bulked up for a role. And what a role it was. As notorious criminal Charles Bronson, he didn't need to be shredded as much as Big, a hulking brawler who could hold his own in the toughest prisons. Having recently played a skinny drug addict in Stewart, A Life Backwards, it was quite the transformation, making use of a high calorie diet, press ups, push ups, ab work, and resistance training. Hardy put on seven pounds a week until he hit the right mass. Hardy by name, Hardy by nature. If we're talking between movie transformations, Linda Hamilton's evolution from naive girl next door in The Terminator to rugged survivalist in Terminator 2 Judgment Day is an all-timer. It makes perfect sense that having survived such horror, Sarah Connor would want to get in shape. And Hamilton certainly threw herself into training to get her shredded sequel physique, preparing for three hours a day, six days a week for 13 weeks. A strict non-fat diet, running, biking, swimming, stair climbing, weightlifting, oh, and actual military level training with an Israeli commando, which Hamilton herself described as hell. Happily, we'd say she put in one hell of a performance. Like some others on this list, Simon Pegg isn't necessarily the kind of star you associate with intense physical changes. But if you look at him in 2006's Mission Impossible 3, then in 2007's Hot Fuzz, we think it's fair to say there's a big difference there. In order to play single-minded super cop Nicholas Angel in the action comedy, not only did Pegg have to get into top physical shape, he also underwent intensive weapons and driving training, and learned how to skid a bicycle like a bona fide action star. We're also guessing he had to jump a few fences. In hindsight, the twist in Fight Club should have been obvious. Surely no real man could ever look as perfectly, divinely shredded as Brad Pitt. In order to play charismatic nihilist Tyler Durden, Brad Pitt achieved arguably his most iconic look, one that's still discussed in hushed tones today. He reached total body fat of between 5 and 6% for the role, something that any fitness specialist will tell you is tough to achieve. The secret? A super low calorie diet, training every single day, and cardio, cardio, cardio. From one of the most iconic looks of the 90s to one of the most iconic of the 2000s, our final entry is the legendary Uma Thurman, who could probably handily destroy you as her Kill Bill character, The Bride. Thurman had only recently given birth when she started filming, but she dived headfirst into an insane training regimen. Kung fu, sword fighting, knife throwing, hand-to-hand -hand combat, you name it, she did it. Three months of training with legendary choreographer Yin Wu Ping. Even we could probably take on the Crazy 88 after that. Of course, not all actors achieve these physical transformations. Marlon Brando famously failed to lose the required weight for Apocalypse Now, and by the time it came to make Superman the movie, he even suggested that his character appear as a giant donut. He could have been a contender. 
Yeah, I do not have a good Brando. <laughs>